This tutorial is going to be about transitioning from a stick figure animator to a full body animator. I've received some requests from stick figure animators who want to start making full body animation. So I thought I'd make this tutorial. Um, full body is quite simply a more accurate representation of the human form, usually animated with outlines around the body instead of the body being drawn with single lines. Um, stick figure animation is a great way to learn animation. Stick figures are more stylized and above all they're more economic and easy to draw, leaving more room for imagination in choreography. I consider certain stick figure animators to be some of the best animators when it comes to choreography and creating dynamic action. However, stick figures also have their disadvantages. It's quite a small niche that the wider public doesn't always appreciate as much as full body animations. Um, stick figures typically do a worse job as well at describing emotion, uh, gesture and foreshortening, which is why some stick figure animations are often confined to a simplistic profile view for their scenes. That being said, there are a lot of innovative stick figure animators who are able to totally make it work for them. So this isn't trying to persuade everyone to um, become full body animators. It's actually just for those of you who do want to learn full body animation who have come from a stick figure background, these uh, practices should hopefully help you to make the transition into a full body animation practitioner, someone who creates full body animations. Draw over your own stick poses. So this will start to make you understand how you can translate your previous way of drawing poses into your new method. Take note, I do not recommend that you animate using this method because I think that will become a bad habit if you do this. It should only be used to ease your transition into drawing full body poses. Transitioning first into silhouettes is another option that you can try. This is kind of like a middle ground between stick figures and full body poses. I personally find this method to be great. It's really fast and efficient to create poses and it's a little more descriptive and refined than drawing the stick anatomy. So I actually use this quite a lot in my own animations whenever I can get away with it. Another tip is to learn shape language. It's all about shape language and I'll try and explain what I mean by shape language. My full body animation is not actually real full body. Um, I do not draw every muscle and bone in the human body on every pose. And so I have to simplify all the parts of the human body into stylized shapes like, like all artists do really into shapes and lines which can be identified. Um, try doing the same thing. Practice drawing areas of the body from different angles. What shapes do these body parts come out as? Do a massive amount of life drawing as well. This is the fundamental practice to animating a full body. Within life drawing, focus on subjects of gesture, foreshortening and anatomy and proportions. Getting feedback from a qualified artist can also help you to find out which of these elements you need to focus on improving. Most of us have a weak link in at least one of these elements. My weak link, for example, is proportions and anatomy. I am really bad at these, so I'm always concentrating on improving these elements. Lastly, just have a go at making a full body animation. At first, it might not turn out looking as good as your stick figure animations, but that's to be expected. Just keep at it and you'll get there in no time. You will have a massive head start over someone who has just started learning character animation without the background in stick figure animation. Um, animation principles should be second nature to you by this stage, so you can focus more on making your character look as authentic as possible. So these tips should hopefully help you to make 
the transition to full body. Before I go, I just want to give a quick shout out to Shawnee at Sean Animated. I've been subscribed to his channel for a while now and I really like the content he's making. He's an animator, but also kind of an entertainer and personality. He does um, animations, reactions and uh, reviews and discussions. So uh, he's a big fan of like some of the shows that I'm a big fan of as well, like the Ruby series. Um, so I always enjoy watching his videos and uh, commenting with him on stuff so it would be really cool if you could go over to his channel check it out and subscribe if you like it that's all I have for you guys for today um, I will see you next week with a new video goodbye also don't forget to check out my website animatorguild.com where you can download source files and watch extended tutorials by signing onto the mailing list <laughs>